In this video, you'll see how to make a Mexican themed cake. Hand painting on buttercream, easy gum paste flowers, and buttercream palette painting. Hi, it's Lorelei. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to build your skills and confidence to create beautiful cakes and memories, subscribe and ring the bell. Start by coloring your buttercream. This is Wilton Orange, Americolor Red, and Wilton Yellow. Now the yellow helped to brighten the color, and so I added more, and I added more red. You do need to add a lot to deepen the color and use a little bit of powdered sugar to help hold the colors. The 10 inch cake was crumb coated earlier. This is a marble cake with chocolate mousse. Now you wanna work the buttercream down the sides of the cake after you coat the top. This is a 789 icing tip and I use this to get an even coat while saving my shoulders a bit. Then smooth out the best you can. The top tier was frosted and chilled for about 15 minutes and then cleaned up with a bench scraper. When the cakes are cold, it's a lot easier to scrape down any imperfections. Pre-colored fondant mixed with Tylo's powder is used for the flowers and the lettering. Some of the tools that you'll need are various flower cutters, rolling pin, drying cups, Tylo's powder, letter cutters, foam pieces, and cornstarch for dusting. Cut a variety of shapes and sizes. If you want to see a very detailed, easy gum paste flower tutorial that I made, click the end card. All of the tools I use in my videos and my business are in my Wedding Cakes For You Amazon shop. The link is below the video for you. You can see how to dowel and stack cakes by clicking on the end cards or links below to my book, Wedding Cakes with Lorelei Step by Step on Amazon. Using a spatula or a palette knife with a small amount of buttercream on the tip, swipe it across to create petals. You can also use a spoon and then layer the petals with varying hues of the same color or different colors. And you can even put a little bit of buttercream in the center of the flowers like I did here to create a center. You can also put some dragees, which I, I did as well, just a few little white dragees in there just to give it some texture. This was a pretty time consuming cake, so I went ahead and I fast forwarded stuff here. But if you need a really detailed tutorial on how to do the palette painting, I do have free stuff here on YouTube. And I also have a class at Cakes with Orla Academy that is also free if you sign up. The link is below and I will add an end card to a more detailed tutorial. 
You can also leave me questions or comments below. Carefully place the letters. They really can't be moved around too much because the black may end up smearing onto your buttercream. For the painting on buttercream, use food coloring, just a couple drops mixed with extract or vodka. Also use a tapered narrow brush. You can use your opposing hand to steady your working arm and just go with the flow. This was my first attempt at painting directly on buttercream, and it definitely is a challenge, <laughs> but have fun. Use a very light touch and start on the back side of the cake. A wide brush is used to create the flowers, which are sort of like sponge painting. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Wedding Cakes for You, Cake Tutorials. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>